Well, I think Cannes is still the biggest film festival in the world, and every year you come, um, you know, you know, it's the biggest platform for your movie that's possible. Um, and it's nerve-wracking um, when you have a film in competition, you know, it's sort of the adrenaline and you know that every single journalist from all over the world is going to have an opinion about you basically the same night, you know, and it's very visible and it's a great launching pad also for Korea. I, my very first red carpet was actually in Cannes. Yes, it's called Special Forces. I play a war journalist that gets kidnapped by the Taliban in Afghanistan. <laughs> so it's it was um, certainly a very emotional and intense film for me to make. I got to interview a lot of uh, female journalists that actually got abducted, whether it was in Afghanistan or elsewhere. And um, you know, we we shot in Tajikistan, which is close to the borders of Afghanistan. Uh, lived in yurts for a month and a half. Um, 15,000 feet up in the Himalayas. So it was as real as, as as you could have it for a movie about this. And the director comes from documentary filmmaking. So this he's lived in Kabul for many for many years and he's made documentaries about the uh, about the conflict. So it was it was an interesting experience. I don't know. Honestly, I had my fair share of uh, yurts. Um, and, you know, it, it made me appreciate journalism a lot more. I, I think I realized how jaded I was. Uh, it's such a given for us to have access to information. I mean, how many times have I been at home and cooked dinner and, you know, the news are on. You, you go, oh, turn that off. I don't want to hear what's going on, you know. Yet I don't often think about what it takes for journalists to actually feed us this information. Um, and that was a big eye opener. I, I realized how ignorant I was. It's just part of of the whole package, right? You have to to do as a, as an actress. And I truly, I genuinely love fashion. I come from fashion. I was a model before, and but I I don't really. Um, think about it too much. I don't work with a stylist, you know, it's, I, I'm very fortunate in the fact that I have friends in the fashion industry and they, they willingly send me stuff that I like, so.